Hey guys, it's C.E. Madison here, and welcome back to another episode of Saturday Night Spotlight. This week, there were some amazing, amazing entertainment news that came onto my feed, and I'm sure it came onto your feed also, and we are going to have a lot of information to cover today, so hopefully it might go better than last week. Before we do that, check out my recent review on Code 8. It is an interesting sci-fi film. It wasn't really one of my favorites, but I think it's something you should at least check out. It's number eight on the Netflix list. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to our first topic. So, Disney has confirmed that there is a live action of Hercules coming in later with the directors from the Avengers. Now for those that don't know, which you guys should know, Hercules was first released in, from Disney in 1997 as an animated musical. The producers, Joey and Anthony Russo, who also works on the Avengers, will be producers for this film. There's nothing really... Um, there's nothing else really confirmed about this movie. We don't know that, um, we don't know if they're gonna follow the musical route like it did with The Lion King bringing the music remake, or if they're just gonna follow like the history for Mulan, where it's all seriousness. There's nothing really, um, there's nothing really like fun about it. But we're hoping that they do bring some of the songs, like, go the distance and I won't say I'm in love but that is all up in the air right now there's no um, current actors that are greenlit for this I don't think it's even in production yet so that's something we won't know until maybe later but for sure we are going to be looking at getting a live action of Hercules later as the one song goes oh there it is oh there it is LeBron James revealed the new logo for Space Jam 2 on his Instagram. The Lakers player was wearing a hat that showed the new Space Jam 2 logo, Space Jam A New Legacy. Now this could mean a couple of things. It could mean that this is the apparent name for the Space Jam sequel. Not really much in LeBron James caption video other than 2021. So this could be a hint that the movie will come out sometime in 2021. But Warner Brothers has officially announced July 16th of 2021, which will be the release date for Space Jam A New Legacy. Directing this movie is Malcolm D. Lee. Michael Jordan was the previous actor to play his character as his own name Michael Jordan in the 1996 in the 1996 film. So LeBron James could be coming in playing as his own character LeBron James. Um, the original movie grossed $230 million worldwide, and including Michael Jordan, there are other big name NBA players in this film, such as uh, Larry Johnson, Charles Barkley, Sean Bradley. There's just there there were just many there were just many many there, and I would like to see newer NBA stars in this. Could this maybe mean Michael's return as a cameo? We don't really know. I would like to see that. I would like to see just a shot of Michael giving LeBron James some kind of on how to deal with our favorite Looney Tune characters. So as of right now, July 16th, 2021, look forward to Space Jam, A New Legacy. In addition to Crunchyroll, Funimation has also been delaying their schedule for the casting of anime due to COVID-19 and get everybody settled to work at home while they are in the safety of their home. I have to give high praise to Funimation for keeping check on their workers and keeping check on everybody to make sure that they're okay and they're not getting impacted by this virus. So for those that are recently watching like season two of Fruits Baskets, that unfortunately is getting delayed um, along with other animes like from Crunchyroll, they're pulling out their dubbing schedule. But in the meantime though, there are animes that have been pulled from delay for a bit. They are returning back. And I hate to use this as an example, but it's one that's on my list. Nekopara. Nekopara just made its return on Friday, so new episodes will be released on Fridays. Uh, My Hero Academia, that's going to be coming back onto schedule. And there's just many other animes that are returning back to schedule. So while there is a loss, there is a good in it. But 
I'm just really happy that Funimation is taking serious precautions to protect everybody from this virus. And speaking of COVID-19, all of the movie theaters and entertainment businesses, they have all have been temporarily shut down including AMC theaters and I am speaking specifically about this one because of its splitting with Universal after Trolls World took over VOD. Now for those that don't know exactly what was going on, Trolls World Tour was supposed to hit theaters sometime early last week I believe. I'm not sure exactly what the premiere date it was. but. Because of COVID-19, Universal decided to have Trolls World Tour go straight to VOD. VOD means video on demand. With it being a complete success, AMC was not really happy about that. So AMC decided to pull the plug on its partnership with Universal. And that is really going to hurt AMC theaters because Universal has a lot of big blockbusters coming out sometime next summer or this summer, um, depending on what you're looking at. Like Fast 9, that's coming out next year. That's one of the big blockbusters. Uh, the new Jurassic Park, uh, Sing 2. All those movies that usually make big bucks in the box office. It's not going to happen now because of AMC. All those other movies from Universal may go straight to VOD. And with VOD having a big success, that might hurt movie theaters later in the future because nobody's going to want to go and pay this much to see a movie when they can rent a movie. I think in a way this is just kind of, if you may, a poor challenge with AMC and their decision to cut Universal because now I feel that other studios are gonna take a look at what Universal is doing and that's scary just imagine how that would have impacted theaters if we had COVID already in the states and with how severe it was when Sonic was first released on Valentine's this past year I, I don't know I don't know I think this is just something that we might see later into the future. I was going to save the AMC news for last, but you know what? I think somebody deserves a best for last moment. And I am talking about the release of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh my god. When I first saw the trailer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it was so awesome I love the detail on our character I love exactly what we're gonna be seeing I just love the whole concept of it but I don't think anybody loves it better than my husband as Vikings Volklord is one of his top favorite things it's it's something that he takes into just like how I take into the Salem Witch Trials this is just something that struck us as this is going to be probably one of the better Assassin's Creed games that have been released. Now he's pulling out like who's king we're gonna fight, he's gonna pull out like histor history that we might run into, but this this is great. This is really really great. Ubisoft a few days ago had a live video stream of of them making the cover for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And not necessarily this cover on screen, but just a different like scene. And during that time, they released the trailer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla the next day. The hype and the excitement for this, it was so big. I don't think I have ever seen a release of a trailer and then a few hours later, you can now pre-order this game. I have not seen anything like this. I'm not sure if you guys caught this detail. It didn't it took about my third watch to realize this. But if you guys see in the trailer, our main quote assassin, but a Viking raider, Eivor, sorry if I said that name wrong, when he strikes his enemy, the hidden blade was right on top of his left hand. Now my husband said, "Do you realize that what this means?" And I said, what do you mean? It wasn't clicking in my head right away exactly what he was talking about. But this is where we think the difference of assassins would come in. In the past, like let's look at Ezio, let's look at Connor. The hidden blade would be directly underneath your hand. So kind of like 
where the veins of your wrist are. I'm just putting this as a placement. It would stay secure under your hand. But this time, when Eivor struck, the hidden blade was right on top of his hand. So imagine if you're just doing a straight punch to somebody in the face, the hidden blade is also going to come on top of it. So this could possibly mean that, you know, we're going to see some changes to the assassin so rather than sticking with the original assassin design we might see some new evo evolution starting with the starting with the vikings and this is just something that i think we'll be looking forward to i think it's great seeing how uh, more attention that Valhalla is getting versus like odyssey or origins so i I can't wait to play it. My husband can't wait to play it. And I hope you guys can't wait to play this either. Holiday 2020 is the release for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. There's no date yet, but just plan for Holiday 2020. And that will conclude Saturday Night Spotlight. Thank you guys so much for stopping in and checking out the news. If there's anything that I miss you want me to cover next week, just comment below and I'll do my research on it. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I have a bell now, so click on that bell if you want to be notified for personal videos or all of my videos. Thanks so much, and I hope to look forward to seeing you guys next week. Our simplest prevention is our biggest protection. Take care of yourselves and others as you practice social distancing, washing hands, and staying at home. Let's get better by starting to make our world better to reduce the spread of COVID-19. See you later on another day.